Sup y'all, welcome back to another video by me, Nina. OG K-pop stan since 1998. I see a treasure came out with a video called Volno. When I first saw it, like a quick glance, I was like, Volcano? But I mean, a treasure does always kind of make me erupt with like being impressed anyway. So that would have made sense anyway. But it's Volno. I think I'll figure out what that uh, exactly means whenever I check out the song. But um, yeah, I see that it's like a little mini unit. I, I believe it's the rapper unit, Yeonseok, Yoshi, and Haruto. Uh, before we go on, the news about Mashio and Yedam uh, officially parting with the group made me really freaking sad. I, I feel like they definitely added very interesting elements to the group. However, that doesn't mean that I don't think that Treasure will still do well. They obviously still will because not only are there are a lot of them, but they already have their own specific Treasure trademark, at least for me. And them being like this fresh element of a boy group in YG family, that makes it even more like, of course, there's Big Bang, the legendary Big Bang, the, where I was a major VIP. So y'all can see the VIP crown right there. But I feel like Treasure is a completely different element from Big Bang. They're like their whole new thing. I'm not like, Oh, the next big thing. They're the treasure, the first treasure. So, um, yeah, but I do wish Yedam and Mashio well wherever they go, and I will definitely keep my eye on that. But, um, yeah, back to this little mini unit. The, considering that it's going to be, uh, they are the rap unit. And, um, considering that, I feel like this will be, uh, very YG vibes. Those who have been with YG from first gen, like 1TYM first gen, Jinujan first gen, uh, y'all get what I mean when I say that, but um, there's only one way to find out, and that is by me shutting up and hitting the play button for Treasures Volno music video. Voice over Thini here for a quick pause before we get things started. I would like to say an extra thanks to my Captain Jack Sparrows over on my Patreon for the extra support. Y'all literally keep my boat, aka my life, stay afloat along with the rest of the crew. Y'all are the savviest. That's got to be the best part I've ever seen. All right, let's get it. All right, so uh, I usually will check the subtitles to see if it's like correct subtitles, but it seems like the subtitles are not uh, embedded into the video. So I possibly may check out a lyrics video afterward. We'll see. But um, yeah, here we go with the music video. Oh, oh. oh my Whoa, that breath. That flow. Yo. This is Oh, uh, yo. Oh, <laughs> so I was right. It was volcano, right? I'm overwhelmed, y'all. I'm so overwhelmed. Haruto, like what the? Hey. this whole deep voice and the raspy whoa whoa the wild volno yo i love this so freaking much Oh, what a trip. <gasps> that transition. This freaking 
finish. Oh my. Oh. Yo. Oh. Even more eruptions. I'm hearing this fire alarm. It fits. It looked like they're having a good ass time filming this. Yes, Young Zuck. Seven chill No, this is very cinematic. I, I definitely want to start my uh, commentary by saying that. Uh, second of all, what the fuck was that? That was straight up YG, but different gens mixed together. As we all are, most of us, I think, know that Mr. YG himself is from the unit of Siotaji in the boys. And uh, if y'all have ever heard of COTG's music, y'all will know that it's definitely a very hip-hop rock element like this. This really brings me back to first gen. Me checking out VHS tapes being like, who are these cool guys rapping and in a baggy clothes and dancing? So um, there's that element. There's the whole uh, one TYM, one time, the group that Teddy is in. Teddy Park, one of YG's producers and writers. Just the Teddy. Um, has a very one-time element too if y'all are familiar one time they have a lot of b-side songs like their title tracks are definitely awesome but a lot of their b-sides show like the whole magic of how they can change their flow and just the flow flirts with the instruments so the instrumentals so um yeah that was definitely uh very portrayed I'm definitely gonna be checking out the lyrics video because i heard the word tupac and i'm i just want to see what the song means to marry that to what I just experienced, what I just felt. And um, of course, doing the whole, I feel like it's a very YG touch, a very YG ending touch to have like a whole big finale change up at the end. Like example, big bangs, bang, 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 you know, like boom, 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 though. Yo, ready or not? Yeah, we don't give a one. All of a sudden it changes into a very EDM thing. 21 had many songs of that. Even first gen, like I'm thinking about one time they have a song called Quechina Ching Ching. Not a very well-known song, which is very unfortunate because it's one of my favorite songs by one time of all time. Um, so uh, Quechina Ching Ching goes a specific way throughout the song. And at the end, they have like this little ding, 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 yo. And then they switch up and the song sounds very like, it's like the same, but switched up to give a difference for a finale feel. So yeah, this is just classic YG. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, find a lyrics video and follow the lyrics video. So um, not just for me to uh, understand a song, but for me to uh, enjoy the song even more. And just so letting y'all know, I probably will pause if I see lines that stick out to me. This damn rock star. I was like, whoa, see OTG and the boys much? Oh, is that me? A. 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 I like that. that uh. They brought up one time. My YG heart is beating. <laughs> Big Bang shout out here. Dragon, G Dragon, Sun, Taeyang, Young Bay from Big Bang. Got big. Listen, to, good boy. GDYB collab. Oh my god, guys. I'm sweating. I'm glad I didn't knock over my mic from uh, doing that dramatic lean just now. Bars. Oh my gosh. I, I'm. This fire throughout the video was a uh, uh, future telling, fortune telling, because now I'm sweating. I'm gonna go back. I really love what Hyunsuk is doing with his voice here too. That breath. See? Whoa. And then Yoshi coming through. Hey. Uh -huh. 
Yep. Mm -hmm. Facts. Haruto's butter voice melting through. A volcano. I. It took me this long. How long I've been recording? It took me this long to realize it's volcano. Okay, boys. Okay, y'all threw uh, me off. This is gonna be total freaking cardio music for me. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep, yep, exactly. Oh my god, this flow. Yep. Uh-huh. Why is Yoshi coming through to like totally slice like that? Oh man, I, seriously, I, I'm like sweaty, but whatever. Yeah, I already want to like get in my car and drive like specifically nowhere, but just to jam this. I love that distorted voice to get into this. This guitar is going off. I'll say Lala could be like two different things uh, YG related, like uh, Big Bang's debut song, La La La, or it could be Seven. Uh, he's currently not in YG anymore, but he was definitely a big artist whenever he was still in YG. And he has a song called La La La. This damn guitar, though, seriously. I really do like the concept melt and play with people around the world, volcano. Oh, yeah, yeah. In this part, again, I remember I was like, whoa. I wasn't expecting it to come back. Adding the fire alarm because shit is getting heated. Ooh, this little what scratch thing I'm hearing. I think it's very obvious that I enjoyed the song. Not only did I almost fall off my chair and knock off my mic, but I am sweating and I kind of moved around a lot. I hope I didn't go in and out of focus. But uh, yeah, everything that I said that I felt about the song, even before checking out the lyrics and freaking out over the bars, this is just YG history all in one. And that, again, uh, I don't know if this is your first video on my channel, but I have uh, stated in several videos that when I first got into Korean music, which back then I always called it Korean music. I didn't always call it K-pop because not every song in Korea or South Korea is uh, pop. But um, yeah, when I first got into Korean music, Back in 1998, the group and the feels that I felt uh, gravitated towards were all YG. So I was just like a very big YG head before I started accepting uh, like SM, JYP, it and now a lot more companies. So um, with that being said, my uh, OG YG heart is extremely satisfied with what I just felt and what I just saw. They killed it, seriously. Uh, Yunsa changing the character in his voice like he's like if there was like certain different kinds of rapper Yunsuk or Yunsuk the artist in general I heard several different characters in his uh lines when Yoshi came through again I said like uh he came through and cut through that's what it felt like his lines kind of cut through the song and made me go not only is Yoshi a super platinum blonde but he's coming through like he's you Whenever I see him in Treasure stuff, or whenever I watch Treasure things, like where they're in variety shows or just doing cute little uh, interviews and stuff, he's very shy. He's very quiet. So seeing him cut through like this, it was a very nice surprise. And of course, Haruto. I've always said this about his voice. Even though him being super young, he has such like 
a deep voice. He makes me think of T.O.P. from Big Bang. Like back when Big Bang was doing their documentary, they didn't, they weren't even Big Bang yet. They were kind of like trying to form together to be Big Bang. And when I first heard T.O.P.'s voice at the time, I called him Tempo because that was his underground rap name, I think. Um, I was like, how do kids have deep ass voices like this? And then there's Felix from Stray Kids. So yeah, there's Haruto from Treasure coming through his buttery deep voice and uh his flow when he started the second verse i was like all right guys well thank you so much for checking out my semi chaotic reaction to treasures volcano i hope you have a great day and until the next video coming up peace